Hi everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Half Century Concealment. Before we get started, we'd like to ask, if you like our content and you want to become a part of our community, please subscribe and like below, hit the little notification bell so that you can find out as soon as we put out a new video. We're on a drive to 500 subscribers. We'd love to have you be a part of it. We're really, really close. And look, we want us to all grow and learn together. Now, today we're going to talk about gun belts. And specifically, we're going to review the Magpul Tejas El Burro gun belt. Now, let's start at the beginning. Why a gun belt? Well, let's take it back. Maybe you already went out and bought yourself a firearm, something reliable like this Glock 19. Or maybe you went out and bought something that's a little bit thinner, like this Smith & Wesson Shield. Or maybe you went out and bought something that's less expensive, like this Taurus G2C. And by the way, we just recently did a 1,000 round review video of this Taurus G2C, and I'll go ahead and put a link up here so that you can watch that. Then you decided that you wanted to carry your firearm. You made certain you meet all the requirements in your state to do so, and you went out and bought a holster. And most holsters have belt clips like this, or some variant of this, like this great tier one concealment all Kydex holster that I have. It comes with a sidecar for an extra mag. And hopefully your holster is at least part Kydex, like this Bucks holster, which is leather in the back and Kydex in the front to protect the trigger. And by the way, this is what we consider to be the most comfortable holster ever. We also recently did a review video on it, and we'll go ahead and put a link up here to that one as well. I'll also put a link at the end of the video to these two videos so that you can catch them after this one is done. Now, one of the most overlooked things is a sturdy belt. Why do you need a sturdy belt? Why not just a regular belt? Well, because most belts like this leather belt are really soft and comfy, and that doesn't lead to strength. And even worse, on something like this cloth belt, which is just going to ploop right there, um, it has no strength to it whatsoever. So what happens is you can wear a comfortable belt, but when you put on your holster, it's going to massively print like this. Look, I'm certain you've noticed we have a bit of a weight problem in America. Now, even if you're lean and thin and six pack abs, you still need a sturdy belt. But especially if you have a few extra pounds around the midsection, uh, you know, for somebody to love, uh, then you really need a sturdy belt. And look, let me show you with my shield, with my Smith & Wesson shield, it's the physics of it. Your body is going to have a little bit extra here, and it's going to go ahead and push the top of this gun, the, the holster, the whole rig, it's gonna push it out a little bit, all right? And a soft belt does nothing to help. You need a sturdy belt to hold everything in, to press it up against your body, all right? Now, one option is a tactical belt, like this one. And these are really great quality belts, but they're hard, they're stiff. And it's also very rough around the edges. It can be rough on your skin, especially if you don't wear an undershirt. Now, it also looks tactical. And maybe you don't want to look tactical, unless you're a woman. By the way, if you're a woman and you look tactical, that's damn sexy. So, <laughs> but if you're a guy walking around the mall or wherever else it might be looking like Joe Tactical, you're going to stand out and maybe not in a good way. Um, and look, just maybe because of the way you look, you may ward off the coward that's looking to do some cowardly act, but maybe because of the way you look, you all of a sudden now just became his first target or her first target, and the first thing they feel they need to take out, you may not want to place yourself in that position just because, like I said, you look like Joe Tactical. So then we have a happy middle, 
And that's where the Magpul El Burro comes in. Now, I've been wearing this belt for about a year now, so I have a lot of first-hand experience with it. First of all, it's made in the USA, right here in Austin, or right there in Austin, Texas, I believe. And this belt is made of 100% reinforced polymer. It's waterproof. It's sweatproof, which is real important living here in Florida or any other place where humidity is an issue. Uh, the hardware is aluminum, so it's corrosion resistant. It's non-abrasive edges. So the edges of this, they're nice and curved. It's polymer. It's not going to rub up rough up against your skin, which is real important if you're going to be wearing this on a regular basis. You, you want something that's comfortable. If not, you're going to stop wearing it. It's stretch proof. This belt were not, will not stretch. Trust me, I've tried. Uh, it has a tensile strength of 1,500 pounds. Um, and look, that's going to be important when they reopen the buffets. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in black, gray, and coyote, which is a really nice tactical way of saying tan. Um, it comes in sizes 32 to 44. Uh, this is not your waist size, by the way. Magpul measures from the buckle. So let me just bend it over here. So from the buckle to the fifth hole. Right now I have it on the third hole, but they measure it to the fifth hole. So please follow the instructions on magpul.com for sizing. And this is what it looks like to wear it compared to what you saw before with a regular belt. Now, some observations. I use a size 38 on the third hole because I just don't want all this extra flap here. I just really don't. And plus, I need five more holes from when I eventually lose weight. Someday. <laughs> I also tend to move the buckle a little bit to the side, as you probably saw in the video, uh, when it's under my shirt and you can't see it, because of the three layers of polymer that are on this side. That way, I can go ahead and put the holster on the thin part of the belt here, on the single layer. It does have eight holes. They are spaced three quarters of an inch apart, so you do have plenty of room for weight fluctuations. Um, look, it's damn comfortable. I, I wear this belt on a regular basis, and I've never had a concern with it. I've never had it rub up against my skin or feel uncomfortable with anything that I've worn, shorts, jeans, whatever it might be. Now, it is made for compact carry. It's not made for a big gun like a 1911 or a Glock 17. Uh, but look, as you saw in the video, it handled my tier one concealment rig with a Glock 19 with an extra mag, fully loaded, just fine. Now, it also did conceal though much better with my Smith & Wesson shield and my Bucks holster. So it will either fully eliminate printing or dramatically reduce printing depending on the size of your firearm. Now, the belt is $60 on Magpul.com. By the way, we apologize. We do not have a discount code at this time from Magpul, but I have seen it on Amazon for as low as $43. I will place an Amazon link below as well as have a link to this belt on our website. It does help our channel if you go through our link. I believe the $43 one, at least at this moment, is the black size 36, which should be a fairly common size. Please keep in mind that prices on Amazon are going to greatly fluctuate. Um, the other thing is, look, if you're thinking of a holiday gift or a birthday gift for that special someone, this is something that they really will appreciate and something that they might not have thought of themselves. And so when you hand it to them, also make sure they watch this video. <laughs> If you have experience with the El Burro gun belt, or if you have another favorite gun belt that you want to tell us about, please let us know in the comments section below. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. Once again, please subscribe, like, hit the little notification bell. You'll find out as soon as we put out new content. We promise to only put out content that we feel you're going to receive value from. Be safe, and as we always end our videos, if you have the opportunity to, please adopt a pet, 
There's thousands of pets out there in shelters just looking for a loving home and you can give them one. Thank you so much and have a great day.